We are here at Columbia University, home of the Comic Book Project. From cave paintings to the paintings of ancient Egypt, everyday people depended on drawings and cartoons to tell their stories. In the beginning, comic books were collections of the daily comic strip. One of the first was The Yellow Kid. But in 1938, that all changed when Action Comics published the first Superman. Today, people consider comics an art form enjoyed by kids and adults alike. We are here today to talk to somebody who's using comic books in a whole new way. His name is Dr. Michael Bitt, and he's the director of the Comic Book Project. Let's go and see what the Comic Book Project is all about. Can you tell us a little about the Comic Book Project? Sure. The Comic Book Project is an art and literacy initiative where young people, like yourself, are creating comic books about who they are, where they come from, or important themes like the environment, or bullying, or saving money, really a wide variety of themes. And then, once they finish the comic books, we publish them and exhibit them and share them with as many people as possible, including on the web. What is the format of a comic book? The format of a comic book is panels. These are really just rectangular boxes that go in sequence across the page of a comic book. And this comic book starts with a large panel, and then a smaller panel, and then a smaller panel even still, and then two smaller panels after that. And the sequence of a comic book helps us understand how to read it, starting at the top and then going in sequence. And this boy even numbered his panels to sort of help us figure it out. When you sit down to create a comic book, what comes first, the pictures or the words? Well, it depends, actually. It depends if you think of yourself as a writer or as an artist. And some of the children across the country who make comic books start with writing, and other ones start with the art. And when young people work together to create a comic book, sometimes a writer will work with an artist, just like they do in the comic book industry, creating real comic books. Now, this one, on the first page where they plan their characters and their plot, there's writing and art. But when we open up the comic book, we just see words. That's because these two girls who created this comic book really thought of themselves as writers, and that's the way that they wanted to plan their comic book. But no, no matter how you start the, the manuscript, in the end, the comic book will always have art and writing in it, because that's what a comic book is. What advice can you give to kids like me who want to create their own comic book? Well, my main advice would be to be creative, because it's not really about just how great you draw or how well you write. It's really about how creative you can be and how unique your story can be and how interesting it can be as you tell it. This one is called What I See and it's an eye looking out into the world. And I think that's a creative idea to take it that it's not maybe a comic book about a superhero or about um, a villain, but it's about what I see and this is the story that I want to tell you. Here's an example of a comic book that I think is really creative because the cover might look like a typical comic book with superheroes and characters, and it's created by a whole group of children working together. But when you open the comic book up, it actually looks very different from some of the other comic books that we've seen. It looks like pictures that were cut out, pasted onto the page, and then the writing done with a black pen. But in the end, it really is a comic book. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.